Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 12 of the Kate Roth Trail. Just getting started out from Incha Damp. We just camped here by the river. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. The sun is out, it's bright. It's gonna be a warm day, I think, again. 10 miles to the Bothy. Uh, and then uh, apparently the terrain is quite uh, steep, but it's only 10 miles, so. Hopefully get there one o'clock, maybe take a good rest for the rest of the day. Uh, the, steam, the views apparently are supposed to be out of this world, according to the guidebook. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we can see today. A little bit tired. Yesterday was quite a slog. Uh, didn't get in till late again, but yeah, it's part of the trail. I guess it's challenging. Uh, Feeling good though this morning. Had a decent breakfast, cup of coffee. So uh, it's all four of us walking again today. Got Leonard with us, Malcolm and Emma, and a couple of the a couple of, uh, the, that we met earlier in the trail have caught up with us again. So we're all heading to the Bothy Glen Dew. I think it's Glen Dew Bothy. We're all heading there. So it should be a nice evening if we have the Bothy available, or at least we'll camp outside of it. So stay tuned, and uh, if you guys are enjoying the channel, and give it a thumbs up for me, please. It would be much appreciated. And then uh, I'll see you guys later on the trail. Hopefully I can get some good footage of what we got going on. It's pretty epic. Got a little bit of a cloud inversion coming through, dropping over the hill in front of us. It's really nice. Had a little gentle breeze, cool us off a bit. It's nice. Really good views so far. Head into that bee lock right there, we think. Should be, uh, should we go over? Just dropping down to the lock in here. Got Emma and uh, Leonard in front. Pretty rugged terrain. Pretty magical. Very good. Was talking about going for a swim. Uh, not this time for me, I think. I think I'll uh, went for a swim yesterday. I think I'll pass this time, but it does look inviting though. cloud nine looking at this literally cloud nine is it coming towards us it's an epic scenery right now with the clouds all in the distance the sun above us taking it all in how beautiful what a place it is fantastic cape wrath Here we're walking around. 
drop down out of the cloud now. You can actually see a bit. We came from all the way up there, we did over that relock. Alright, we made it down by the river, you can see, by the creek or the burn. We're following this now basically to the first party where we're going to have the coffee. So, lots of views around, pretty big stuff. Malcolm's just topping off his water and then we'll be moving on. Okay, you're looking at one of the tallest waterfalls in Great Britain. Quite cool, just come across it. I knew it was here, just waiting to get to it. And, uh, saw it on the map, that's why I knew. We got the lock in here in the distance we're heading to. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, finally made it to the first Bothy. Wow, that was a tough, tough section of trail back there. Uh, uh, I was struggling, but I made it now. I'm gonna stop here for a good hour break. I need a break. It's, the sun is so hot. I'm out of water, so I gotta get some water, have a cup of coffee, put my feet up and rest. Just happy to see that building. What a wonderful and glorious place. Glen Cool Bothy is. Lads are down there soaking their feet, cleaning their shoes, getting themselves ready to come back up and have a brew. I've got my shoes off, just sitting here in the shade, just looking at the sea lock here. And, oh, just, this is just heaven. Off my feet is the most important piece of life. Alright, well, just left Paradise. It was beautiful at the Bothy there. Nice and chill. Oh, it's nice just sitting there relaxing. But that's okay, I need to push on. I gotta get to the next Bothy is where we, for the night, stay for the night. So, uh, they're still talking and jabbering on and I wanna get moving, so I've left. Just walking next to the lock here. Beautiful. And uh, I'll make our way across this uh, headland here. So basically we just gotta go across this headland here, here, across that and drop down to the bottom. So we'll get there. And uh, feeling a lot better now because it took about an hour, 30 minute break really. It was a really good break. And that was really good, I needed that. Basically uh, refresh myself, get dehydrated, get hydrated again to carry on more sunscreen. So I'll get myself prepared for this last push over to the next bothy and then and then we're in full chill mode once we get there so i'll see you guys at the bothy there's a view back down to the bothy just climbing up the hill now getting to the point where i can drop down to the other side you got the big waterfall in the distance there just make it out now beautiful so nice up here got a nice breeze got malcolm coming up behind me the walker mic which is coming up behind them so right, let's keep moving just made first sight of uh, Glendu Bothy just come over the headland now and now we're heading back down to the lock side it's just there in the distance not too far away now probably about 3k so I'll just keep trucking on and we'll get down there this section by the lock is quite challenging underfoot a lot of water ups and downs yeah it's uh stepping on stones definitely takes its toll on your feet uh we're getting to the bothy it's just there in front just a long stretch coming through here to get to it. So you gotta go to the end of the peninsula 
and then around it and then to get to the bo bothy. So, and coming through here, you gotta really pay attention to your feet. So I'm gonna stop filming and uh, focus on getting to the bothy. All right, got the peninsula now in front of me. Just see the end. Just gotta circle that end there, down there and then around to the bothy. So not far now. All right, made it to the end of the of the lock-in now. Crossing over the bridge. Water coming down from the valley. Beautiful. Okay, let's get to the uh, the bothy. There's some horses in the field here. There's a loose one up on the top of, out of the fence line. I don't know if he's supposed to be out or not, but some cool horses. Uh, I think this house, this is someone's house, so this is not the bothy. Bothy is a little bit further on. Uh, have a look at it. Just make out Leonard on the other side there coming. Malcolm is just coming over the hill there. And I think Emma is further back. And uh, Mike is further back or behind Leonard, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'll get to the Bothy soon enough. Cool horses though. Glen Dew Bothy then. It's the stairs up there. Place where you can cook and uh, have a good time if you want. Fire. Cooking. I'm not gonna go upstairs, it's just bedrooms. There's lots of people stuff in there. I think we're gonna sleep in here. On the floor in here maybe. Might sleep there or there. Don't know, sleep in here somewhere. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. And cook up here and stuff. Beautiful scene, a beautiful place though. All right, I'm gonna have a wash. Hello everyone, just uh, hanging out in the tent here at the uh, uh, Glen Dew Bothy. I uh, got a nice pitch, I'll show it to you in a minute, but I uh, just wanted to... Today was uh, mentioned as one of the hardest days of the Cape Wrath Trail, walking from Inch to Damp to Glen Dew. Uh, I would say it's about the same as any other day on the Cape Wrath, it was pretty hard. Uh, challenging underfoot, uh, sore feet all pretty much the whole way, but... Once I got to the Bothy before, the Glen, Glen Lou Bothy, I think it's called, had a coffee, had some something to eat and some more water. It kind of settled me down and I was feeling a lot better. So this last push from the other, from the other Bothy over the, over the, uh, the more Hedgeland there down here was a lot easier. And uh, I'm happy now. I got my feet up. I've soaked my feet twice in the, in the little, little uh, burn running down and uh, had a coffee. Uh, so I'm going to have some food now, probably shortly. And then uh, I'm going to try to do tent, uh, do, sorry, do map time tonight because I haven't done it in the last couple of days because it's been so shattered. And all I wanted, just wanted to get food and go to bed. So I'm going to try to do that tonight and walk my way through where we've been the last three days and uh, give you some insight to what the trail's like and uh, maybe the conditions. So we'll go to map time now and get that out of the way. Stay tuned for that. Okay, and then what we did today was from Inch and Dance. So we took this path here. Uh, basically up and over the BLAC, which was relatively easy. And then once we got to the top of the BLAC, the views coming down, oh, were just amazing, just simply amazing. And then dropping down the path, following it in the cloud, a little bit of navigation was required, uh, but not too bad. And then we hit this path here, followed it down to the river, and then walked this path down here, which was very tough, very tough underfoot boggy, very challenging, made it to the front of the lock, uh, then finally uh, pushed around to the Bothy where we took an uh, hour and a half well needed break. Uh, had a coffee and everything there. Then we pushed on up here. This is steep climb out of here, very steep. All the way around here, uh, very tough terrain coming down here, very boggy and, gr and rocky. 
So uh, a lot of tension to your feet. And then around here, there's a bridge you cross right here and then into the Bothy where we are today now sleeping. So thanks guys.